a black hallway and mood lighting set the scene at the McNay. What else would you expect for an exhibit that features set pieces from one of Tim Burton's most famous films? The McNay Museum acquired many original set pieces from the Nightmare Before Christmas film because of the Tobin Center's namesake, Robert L.B. Tobin. Without anyone at the museum knowing he was doing this, he purchased these objects and just had them shipped to the museum. Now, 30 years later, Dr. Scott Blackshire and Kim Neptune, the exhibit curators, put together Dreamland to display the set pieces in a new light. I would describe Tim Burton's art style as Burton-esque. He really is one of the few filmmakers whose name is synonymous with a dark, moody, melancholy aesthetic, but one in which really heartfelt stories are told. Using Tim Burton Styles inspiration, the collection was created from a combination of props and set pieces along with connected works from the permanent collection. I was thinking about finding connections between the details in the Tim Burton works and other artworks in the main collection. For example, Oogie Boogie greets you at the front door and he is standing next to this big beautiful abstract artwork by Paul Maxwell from the 70s. And when you look at the painting, there are certain forms and certain lines that are very similar to the design of Oogie Boogie. The center gallery of the exhibit, The Hallway of Peculiar Portraits, is inspired by Tim Burton's time working with Disney. And thinking about Disney, the Hall of Presidents and the Haunted Mansion, we thought it would be interesting to create our own Hall of Peculiar Portraits and fill it with beautiful artworks from the McNay, but that all could possibly be relatives of Jack Skellington. The exhibit uses projections to create an immersive experience for viewers. It's peaceful and you're still questioning your reality. Am I upside down? You know, what's going on outside? Why are the snowflakes going up instead of down? Tickets for students are $10 at typical visiting hours, but on Thursdays, when general admission is free, visiting Dreamland is $5. So in short, this exhibition is beautiful and insightful and engaging and quirky because of the beautiful, insightful, engaging, quirky people who helped put it together. From the McNay Museum for Jack TV, this is Aubrey Warmke.